Hi there, my name is Teddy, and today we are going to learn about the female reproductive system. That's right, and all girls have these. The female reproductive system is made up of several organs, which includes the ovaries, fallopian tubes, uterus, and vagina. These are very important because it is responsible for producing egg cells and supporting a developing baby inside a mother's womb. Let me tell you more about the female reproductive system. This is an egg cell. This is the female reproductive cell. Did you know that the egg cell is only one-tenth of a millimeter. That's right, it is about the size of the diameter of a hair strand. Well, Axel is not capable of movement, unlike male reproductive cell which is the sperm cell. Sperm cell is able of movement. And when sperm cell and egg cell unite, fertilization occur. It means one life begins. Now let's talk about the different parts and function of the female reproductive system. This is the female reproductive system. Number one, the ovary. This is the ovary. It produces egg cells as well as the female sex hormones. The female sex hormones are called estrogen and progesterone. Female human have two ovaries. Did you know that when a female was born, about 70,000 potential egg cells are already present in her ovaries? However, only 500 of these eggs will mature. The mature eggs are released one by one every month once a female reaches puberty or teenager. The releasing of egg will slow down or stop when the female is about 43 to 55 years old. The mature egg cells leave the ovary through fallopian tube. Now, what is fallopian tube? This is the fallopian tube. This leads the egg from the ovary to the uterus. Fallopian tube is also the usual site of fertilization, where an egg cell and a sperm cell meet and unite. Female humans have two fallopian tubes and each connecting to an ovary to the side of the uterus. Next is the uterus. This is the uterus. It is also called womb. The uterus is a hollow muscular organ located at the lower abdomen. Uterus has soft, smooth inner lining called uterine lining or endometrium. This lining becomes thicker as it accumulates blood and nutrients to accommodate or be ready for the unborn baby as it develops. Uterus is also the site where the fertilized egg is implanted. If the egg cell is not fertilized, it will break together with the uterine lining. After it breaks down, it will be discharged 
during menstruation. The next is the cervix. This is the cervix. It is located at the lower part of the uterus. It is a narrow opening between the uterus and vagina. During childbirth, it expands to allow the passage of the baby. And then, the vagina. This is the vagina. It is also called birth canal. The vagina is a hollow, muscular tube that extends from the cervix to the vaginal opening called vulva. It expands to let the baby pass during normal delivery of birth. Now you know the important parts and function of the female reproductive system. Let us now describe how is the journey of the egg cell and how the female reproductive system work. We already know that the ovaries produce the egg cells. These egg cells will be transported to the fallopian tube. Also, this is where fertilization by a sperm may occur. The egg will then move to the uterus, where the uterine lining has thickened in response to the normal hormones of the reproductive cycle. If the egg cell is not fertilized, the egg cell and the uterine lining will break down and is discharged during menstruation. But if the egg is fertilized by sperm, the fertilized egg can implant into thickened uterine lining and continue to develop until become a baby. However, even the egg cell is fertilized but implanting does not take place, the uterine lining will shed as menstrual flow together with the egg cell. During menopause, the female gradually stops making the female hormones, which is necessary for the reproduction cycle to work. During this period, menstruation or menstrual cycle can become irregular and eventually stop.